Okay, welcome back. This is the uh, second video in the playlist on equilibrium calculations, and it's part of the playlist in general on chemical equilibrium. Now, uh, advancing from the previous video, what we're going to do today is work a problem where we're given initial concentrations of a reactant, and we have to calculate the uh, equilibrium concentrations of of all the components in the reaction. So the question at hand is the following. All right, so we're given a reaction vessel that initially contains 0.05 molar N2O4 at a fixed temperature. Uh, equilibrium is allowed to um, establish itself and the Kc is 0.513. Calculate the equilibrium concentrations of N2O4 and NO2. So the thing to do first is to write your equation. And I guess this was supposed to be given here, but, uh, but this is what it is. All right, so it's N2O4 going to two NO2s. And, um, and I'll put the KC here off to the side. Even though it's in the problem, I'm going to rewrite it so that it's uh, right in front of me. And uh, I can easily find it since we're going to need it. Now, um, <clears throat> we're also given the initial uh, concentration of the N2O4, uh, which is 0.05 molar. And we're going to set up what normally uh, in the industry is called the ICE, which stands for uh, Initial Change Equilibrium, ICE table. Um, in, my, in my class, the way I teach it is I call it the box. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, label my conditions before equilibrium is reached. And I just use the word before. And I will put in the initial concentration of the N2O4 and establish the fact that at the beginning of the reaction, before anything's happened, that there's, um, there's no NO2. And then we're going to let equilibrium uh, occur. And uh, to indicate that, I write the word after. And we need to show the change uh, in terms of how it's going to occur. And um, to set this up, you need to pay attention to how the, uh, the reaction is changing. In other words, what the coefficients of the balanced equation uh, are for the given components that are in here. And we see that for every mole of N2O4 that, that disappears, we're going to form two moles of NO2. So when we write the change for the N2O4 the, to get to equilibrium, it's going to be uh, 0.05 molar minus x. It's 1x because the coefficient for the N2O4 is 1. And the, the NO2 is going to be produced at a rate of 2. So we're going to be producing two NO2s for every mole of N2O4 that goes away. So the NO2 at equilibrium will be represented by 2x. Okay, now we're ready to set up our expression. And what I'm going to do first is write the expression without numbers. So the equilibrium expression for this will be concentration NO2 using square brackets since we're in molarity raised to the second power the power coming from the coefficient in the balanced equation and that's divided by <clears throat> the concentration of N2O4 raised to the first power since the coefficient is 1. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and insert my numbers. So the Kc is 0 0.513 <clears throat> and it's worth mentioning if you've been with me through this series of videos if you look at the KC, it's, it's a KC that is um, close to 1. <clears throat> this, this value is close to 1. The significance of that is that we would expect a reaction mixture here at equilibrium to be highly mixed. There's going to be proportional amounts of both products and reactants here that are going to be comparable. So that's something we can expect from this because of the size of the equilibrium constant. 
All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in the information that I that I have for um, <clears throat> the NO2. So it's going to be 2x quantity squared, and uh, that will be over 0 0.05 molar minus x. Okay, and uh, now we're ready to start simplifying this. <clears throat> so we're going to have um, 0 0.513, and that's going to be times quantity 0 0.05 molar minus x, uh, the whole thing equal to 4x squared. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and rearrange this, and I'm going to put my, um, my 4x squared over here on the left, just because this is the way I like to do it. And then 0.513 times 0.05 molar gives us um, 0 0.02565 minus 0.513x. Now you can see what's coming here. Um, we're going to have a quadratic equation. So let me finish simplifying this. It's going to be 4x squared. Um, plus 0.513x and then minus 0.02565 the whole thing equal now to 0 okay so we have a quadratic formula this is fairly common in equilibrium problems um, hopefully your professor your teacher your TA is not going to give you too many of these because quite frankly they're a pain in the neck but we're going to go ahead and work this one out. So x, in terms of the um, quadratic of for, uh, formula, is going to be x is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root. For those of you that have forgotten, all right. And then this will be b squared minus four times a times c, and then the whole thing is over two times a. All right. So now what we're going to do is plug in our values. Um, the 4 is A, the point five one three is B, okay, and uh, the point oh two five six five is C, all right? Um, so plugging in, my X will be equal to minus 0 0.513 plus or minus square root, hopefully you can squeeze it all in here, uh, it's going let's see so we have 0 0.513 and this quantity is squared minus 4 times 4 times a minus 0 Okay, and the whole thing is over 2 times 4. So my x, after you crunch this thing out, and I would recommend it if you are going to end up uh, thrutching through a lot of these problems that, that force you to use the quadratic that you um, program it into your calculator so that you can just enter the a, the b, and the c and then get your, your x value. So our x in this case is going to be 0.0. Um, 385. Now, oftentimes I have students ask me about the plus and the minus thing here. And what you need to remember is that uh, in chemistry we're not going to have a negative concentration. So use common sense. You're, you're, you're just going to have uh, one option here and uh, that's going to be the positive value. All right, now <clears throat> We're not done. Let's go back and figure out our equilibrium concentrations. So the N2O4 is equal to 0 0.05 molar minus X. So to find the N2O4, we need to take 0 0.05 molar and we need to subtract 0 0.0385. All right, and so the N2O4 at equilibrium 
is going to equal 0 0.0115 molar. All right, and then for the NO2, I'm using my square brackets to remind us that we're, we're solving for molarity. Um, it's going to be 2 times the 0 0.0385. And let me fix this a little bit. It looks like a 6 there. It's not. All right, this is a 0. Okay, and so the NO2 is going to be equal to 0 0.077 molarity. All right, and, um, and as I said at the start of the problem, if you compare the molarity of the NO2 to the molarity of <clears throat> the N2O4, these are comparable values. Obviously, they're different because th there's a difference in the, in the law of mass action due to the fact that there's different coefficients. But since the equilibrium constant is close to 1, the reaction mixture is messy. I call it messy because there's comparable amounts of both of um, the, the components that are involved in this reaction. All right, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this video.